Hey everyone, it is Crypto Wendy O here. Today I'm going to be doing a short vid on how to use moving averages. This is going to be part of my technical analysis series on basic TA indicators. So if you're interested, you could go ahead and check those out and see some of the previous ones that I did. Also shout out to my sponsor, Coinigy. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. And also thank you for allowing me to use your version two beta platform. So you guys, all the information that I gathered to make this video, I got from Investopedia and I also got from Coinigy. Coinigy has a lot of really great learning resources that you can go ahead and check out if you have questions on indicators or how to use their platform. So um, before we get started, I'm not an expert. I'm not a financial advisor. All opinions and statements in this video are based on my own and things that I've researched. And as always, make sure to do your own research. So what is a moving average and why do we use it? So a moving average, it is a simple technical analysis tool that smooths out price data by creating a consistently updated average price based on historical data. Um, it identifies um, trends and it also identifies when a reversal will occur. Um, basically to calculate a moving average, um, you would get the last five days or five periods and you would divide it. You would add it up and you would divide it by the number five. Um, I'm not going to get into the complete math on how to take all the moving averages because you can go ahead and research those, uh, those on your own if you're interested in doing it. And platforms like Coinigy, um, they automatically calculate it for us and no one wants to take moving average on their own. It will take forever. So um, anyways, why do we use moving averages? So. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys um, some of the basics regarding that. Um, also, too, there's three different types of moving averages. There's a weighted, a simple, and an exponential. Um, what, the simple is an SMA, and actually, it's you want to use those when you're um, trading in a longer time period, like especially if you're swing trading. And then it, it, it determines overall market direction. Um, an EMA is for shorter time frames, and it moves a lot faster. So in crypto, you kind of want to use those just because crypto is so volatile and it moves so fast. Um, also too, you can modify MAs, moving averages, to whatever time frame you want. I generally use the 20 and the nine for now, but um, depending what I'm looking at, sometimes I change it up. It really, really just depends on what I'm looking at and what I'm doing. I know for stocks, you can use the 10, the 20, the 50, and the 100 day um, moving averages. It's purely up to you. Um, you can modify their length and I will show you guys how to do that. Um, so let's go ahead and look at the chart and I'm going to talk to you guys about how to use moving averages and why they're why they are important. So let's go ahead and look at it. So this is a moving average right now. I have the MA nine up. So basically with the moving average, you can use it to determine support or resistance. You can essentially it takes out all the noise because if you look at the candles, there's a lot of chop. There's a lot of action going up, but basically it smooths the data so you can kind of see what direction. Um, a stock or a crypto or anything that you're charting, the direction that it's moving. So it really, really cuts the noise. It smooths all that noise out. So it kind of gives you a clear direction as to what is going on and where it's going. So um, some of the basics here, I'm actually going to, um, let me first show you how to pull them up. You're going to go to settings. No, I'm sorry. You're going to go to indicators. You're going to type in MA, moving average. You can click it there. And then you can also go to the settings button here and go to inputs and the link is where you would go ahead and modify that. So let's say you want a hundred day moving average. You can do that there. I'm going to remove this because I'm not going to be using the hundred day moving average. I'm going to use the nine and the 20. So there's different ways that you can move, use moving averages. You can use one moving average if that's what you want to do. Um, but when you use two, you can kind of identify um, crossovers and different things like that. You can also identify crossovers with um, a single moving average, but I personally like to use two to kind of give me confirmation of direction and what the market could possibly do. Do keep in mind, moving averages are lagging indicators, which means they're not always 100% accurate. And there's a lot of fake outs that occur, and I'm gonna show you guys those. So just basic, based on the, um, let me go ahead and pull my object tree up and then put all my stuff up here for you guys so I can show you everything. I made some notes. Here we go. All right. So um, this is the moving average over here acting as support. Over here, you can see, and we're just talking about the MA9, which is the green moving average. We're seeing right here that price is respecting it and it's acting as support. It's just kind of holding on to it right here. Um, also too, when price drops below a moving average, this can indicate a reversal in 
price. So we were pretty bullish here. We're falling up, 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 and then we dropped. Um, this would be an indication to sell, essentially. Also, too, when you're moving, average is acting as resistance. Um, over here, it's kind of hard to see, but you can see all these little candles here. They're unable to break above both MAs over here. So this essentially would be acting as resistance. Um, some, what, some of the issues that happens with moving averages, sometimes you can get a false breakout. So right here, we see that price is pumped up and it looks like we're gonna break out and start to get an uptrend. However, it was a false breakout and then price dumped and then it kept going down over here. Um, when we use two moving averages, these are things that are called crossovers. I like, that's why I use two moving averages because it's kind of easier for me to see what's going on. Right here is a bullish crossover. So the MA9, which is the green one, crossed over the um, MA20, which indicates a rise in price. So we have this bullish crossover and then price popped up. Um, the MA20 is also found on the Bollinger Band and it calls it a simple moving average SMA. So just wanted to go ahead and clarify that there. Over here, we have a bearish crossover. So the MA20, which is the white, it crossed over the 9MA and it indicated a fall in price. So right when we had this crossover, we fell. Another thing about moving averages, it can kind of tell you, it talks, it can help you identify the trend. So this MA, the green MA, MA9, when it's popping up, this is um, considered an uptrend. And also too, we have this nice upward tick in price here that would be bullish. So that also indicates that we're in an uptrend. When price is flat, like the, um, like the MA20 is here, that indicates that a stock or a crypto is ranging or consolidating. Um, so it's just kind of chilling. Also too, if you have a downward tick, let me find an example. When you have a downward tick or price is falling like this, this, can, this is obviously gonna indicate bearish or a downtrend here. So basically MAs, the takeaway from these, they're not 100%. They're a lagging indicator, but they can kind of help you spot what direction a stock or crypto is going in. Um, and they also can identify reversals as well. So I like using them. I've actually just started using them and I enjoy using them. They work great for me. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you like Coinigy, you can go ahead and sign up with my ref link down below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.